What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to manage and track your expenses with Expensify.com which is a great platform or website that you can track your expenses which is a great platform or website on which you can track your expenses and calculate your uh, budget and expenses and income and so on. So to do so here to get started we'll need to go to the Expensify website that's Expensify.com and here you'll get like a brief overview of the website's capabilities or the platform's capabilities with features and so on. And here you have the option to go ahead and uh, get started creating an account. You can start with email, phone number, Google and Apple. So uh, if you want here, you can contact the sales before signing up. For me, I'll sign up with email. So I'll click here on email. Here I'll enter my email, then click next. And once I entered my email and confirmed it, uh, it will open this page right here. So this is like uh, uh, the on the left I have my uh, main menu items. So I'll go through them in a second. And here I just select uh, if I'm a business like a retailer or a store or just an individual trying to track my uh, expenses and budget and so on. So let's uh, choose individual. Okay, what will you use it for? So, um, check receipts, expenses. Let's say uh, submit expenses. Now I have my main menu items on the left. So the inbox where I have all my messages and notifications here and the expenses where I can see my expenses and track them. Here I don't have any expenses since uh, this is a newly created account. So let's click here to add a new expense. We can create it manually, so add it manually or we can scan the receipt to determine the uh, amount spent or create multiple I'll show you that in a sec or by time or here by distance I can manually create or create from app so the time I can create like an income by time so if I'm working like hourly on an hourly rate I can enter the number of hours and the the rate the hourly rate and it will uh, um, like calculate my uh, my income or expense and here if I'm like uh, making my job like on a distance basis, I can enter also the rate and the distance and it will calculate the total amount. So for now, let's click on manually create to create it manually. Here I can enter the merchant name. So let's say uh, Amazon, okay, Amazon.com, the date for today, the total, uh, let's say 500. And the currency is automatically set to EGP, Egyptian pounds, since it detects that my location is in Egypt. However, I can change it uh, however I want. Let's say US dollars, so enter USD, okay. And then I can check or uncheck the reimbursable. The category, I can select the category for my expense. So um, let's say uh, materials the attendees me and I can add others I can add a description here if I want and I can add it to our report so uh, automatic or I can create a new report here now if I want to enter a new expense by distance I can enter the distance so uh, let's say uh, 10 miles and the rate per mile the default rate is uh, the here the date and the amount here is calculated of course if I uh, increase the number of miles the amount will be increased okay and here I can set also reimbursable and the category let's uh, choose like car benefit equipment and so on so let's see what this is I can add a description and add it to a report so uh, let's say and I can create receipt from map so I can choose my location on a map the time here I can enter my rate per hour and I can enter the number of hours that I worked and it will calculate the amount uh, automatically so these are all like types uh, to add a new expense so if I here add multiple I can add multiple expenses from multiple uh, merchants so like uh, here the Amazon okay I spent a total of like uh, 200 and now I spent on eBay 300 and uh, here I can add categories and description for like a large number so so here I spent like multiple uh, times on multiple merchants I can add them all at once so for here let's go back to expense and then I can go ahead and go to expense to add like a normal expense so Amazon dot com I spent 500 
OK. And then click OK or Enter. And it'll, like here I typed in 5 instead of 500. However, here it appears in my expenses uh, page. I can here add a receipt if I want to. I can, like, uh, open it and view it. Here in the reports, I can view my expenses report for this day. So if I click on the report, I can view my expenses. So here I spent like five dollars uh, or five Egyptian pounds on Amazon. Uh, if I here, if I go and add like a new expense, okay, manually create. In the expense here, I can click here to add a photo of the receipt. Okay, let's uh, say eBay or and a total of 300 uh, pounds, click enter. And now if I go to uh, reports, I can see here that my total spent is like 305, so like 300 on eBay and five dollars on five pounds on like Amazon. And here I can view the report in details in the merchant and so on. And insights, insights I can view here the statistics of my expenses uh, categorized by like category tags uh, cards and so on and you can add like your bank cards if you want to to uh, add them to your expenses uh, so here if i go to settings okay i can go to the account settings if i go to payments i can add a bank account in order to track my expenses and i can add a payment card so here is the, the option and I can import my personal or company card here and set it in the expenses so uh, that it will know on from which card the expenses here is taken and uh, expenses rule I can add a new rule to automatically apply. If I go to preferences here I can add the unit tracking so my hourly rate, and my widget, I can view the different uh, account settings and edit them. Now let's get back to uh, inbox here. Here you can ask any question and the uh, like automatic chatbot or help bot will help you. Now, if we go here to expenses, let me show you how to add a category to a certain expense. So if we click on like the first one, the Amazon, let's uh, select a category. So like this one, um, equipment, okay, and Okay, uh, to save it, let's go here and click on save. And for eBay, let's click on it. Let's add a category of like car. Okay, and then click save or hit enter. Now, if you go to the, uh, sorry, the insights, not the report, the insights. Now we can see here this pie chart, like divided our expenses by category. So. Um, the expenses, the car expenses versus the equipment expenses and if I added like more than two categories they will be all included in this chart here by percentage and here if I add tags they will be shown here and cards and so on. So that's how easy it is to use the Expensify platform to add your expenses and manage them.